Before we get into today's video, strip club money's down, weed sales are down, the reality of being broke, let's talk about my current preoccupation, starting a professional trading company. And I've seen a lot of your comments, and um, let me go ahead and tell you, I am a nerd. I research stuff, I read the fine print, and a lot of you have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm gonna say this with a great deal of certainty, that the majority of you don't know anybody with a professional trading company. You don't know anyone. And once again, uh, I saw people wanted to dispute. There is a brother on the YouTube by the name of Brian Rivera CPA who talks about this. And a lot of people is like, well, Toby and this person is, I'm like, once again, this is something I know, that any black person that's occupying the possession of a financial advisor or a CPA in a professional manner, nine times out of 10, they know their stuff. You wanna know why? Because they have to. You can't be black and be half-stepping in any industry. Come on, guys, you're always talking about racism, racism, what about racism? Yet, when a brother who has a professional business, you're like, ah, he ain't nothing. Like, I could tell you, from being in professional services to be a black person that's performing at a high level in business and sales and these other things, that's something you have to do. So I'm quite sure that Brian Rivera, CPA, is a qualified, conscientious, and hardworking individual. So, with that, I am going to create a professional trading company, and this is some insights. I'm gonna probably put it on the Corporate Trader channel, but I'm at the position where I am still trying to get my corporate entity brokerage account set up. I feel that I've got the first one that's gonna happen, and I was talking to the representative, and what we're gonna do is set up a paper trading demo for the account. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and buy my trading computer, take the tax deductions from another company, because I have that option, because I'm playing the holding company game, and just go ahead and paper trade as close to an environment, what, whatever amount of money I was gonna trade with from a live trading account, that's what I would trade with a paper account, because I think they give you like a million I'm not going to be trading a million dollars, so I'm going to bring it down to what I'm actually going to trade, and I want to get in the habit of trading, and I want to set up, because I'm probably going to get a standing desk, and I'm probably going to put it right there, and I'm going to get my computer, my monitors, my subscriptions, my charts, and all this other stuff, so I can start developing the habit of trading. One of the things that so many people who are really, really excited about trading, and being in the markets they don't trade every day i've watched tons and tons of videos and i know that these folks do not trade every day because the minute they had a bad streak they out they got to take a week off they got to take a few days off let me tell you something there's someone who's been in business for real and i'm talking about the upscale garage sale where i had to go out and buy storage units to create inventory to sell stuff to people Sometimes I would hit a bad streak, but I didn't have the option to, well, you know, I'm not going to go out today because, you know, yesterday was terrible. I've literally had a six week bad streak and I had to keep buying, I had to keep buying, and I had to keep buying. I didn't have the option. And I think that one differential and having that professional experience in a real environment with real money on the line is gonna help me tremendously when it comes to trading. That's just what I assume. But once again, I really appreciate the comments, but unless you have a professional trading account, you actively trade, and you file taxes, you really don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm just saying. Because uh, one of the things that I consistently see is a lot of people will regurgitate bad information. I see it over and over and over in the internet. Like 
once again, recently this happened. I had someone who, um, one of my persons who was doing uh, credit repair, he actually paid me. He's like, look, I got all these inquiries and I need to get them off. So I watched the YouTube video and I called up Experian and it didn't go like the YouTube video. It actually worked. It did work. Got 25 inquiries removed from his credit report. And this is what's funny. They say that inquiries don't have a lot of weight upon your credit score. He got a hundred points when those inquiries were removed. He got a hundred points, 100 points. He went from a 680 to a 780 on his experiment, Experian credit report once those credit inquiries were removed. So once again, it, it, it didn't like, you watch the video and you can go to put in how to remove the 24 hour hack, that's what it's called. And it's not like that. I was on the phone for about 30 minutes. I kept getting rerouted to this apartment. I just, you know, I stayed on there and I got it done. But once again, when you actually get to the right department, cause that's going to be the hard part. It works. It actually worked because, um, he sent me his confirmation email and literally it didn't even take him 24 hours. They did it in about six. But once again, the dude left out a lot of details in the video. So once again, uh, wish me luck on this trading. Cause once again, I'm going to say, I don't know anything about trading. I'm not going to pretend I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to, Hey, I'm trading uh, pips, pay my bills and uh, all this other stuff. Cause essentially what I've been able to ascertain is these, most of these folks are just a hair, just a, a dollar or two away from being broke, but they're on the internet. I'm making it rain. So also we're getting close to September 1st. So you want to enroll in the intellectual property school before the price goes up because we're about to get into some nitty gritty stuff. You want to be present and going forward, we're probably going to have training two nights a week. And uh, I'm going to see how this goes because I'm going to be setting it up. But once again, you want to get in to the intellectual property school because the setup of a YouTube channel from a tax standpoint can be extremely positive to you. So go below the link's going to be in the first comment and go ahead and sign up. And typically what I do is send out the welcome emails with the instructions where to start, how to get into things about six or 7 PM. All right, so let's roll. Strip club money is down. Weed sales are down because I went ahead and did some research because I was just wondering because uh, there's a lot of content I watch on YouTube that I don't talk about and there's a bunch of strippers on YouTube and this is the first thing I would think the lead stripper would be Christina Villalagas and she ain't even stripping no more because she makes so much money from YouTube and selling stuff that she she's like chick drives a Porsche. She's got the fake boobs. She's got all that stuff. And um, I don't think she's stripping anymore because she's making so much money from YouTube. But, and people just love her. They just love her. I mean, she's like everyone's BBF. But I want you to think about this. And with watching these strip club channels, these strip, these girls who are strippers channels, I've noticed that a lot of them are traveling and they're, they're going to these other clubs, which tells me that the club in their market is not doing that well. Like if the club in your market's popping, why would you get in your car and go somewhere else? I'm like, I, I don't really see the point in that. So there, a lot of them are traveling. They're going to these other clubs. They're dancing in these other clubs. And what really got me was when we, when I read that weed sales across the board, weed sales are not just down, weed sales have crashed. And typically during times of stress, vices typically go up, uh, drug use, drinking, but weed sales across the board, because in many states, I think it's like 24% of the people in the United States have access to recreational weed. So 
they, they're actually got numbers on it and there's associations and there's groups that have been tracking the sales and weed sales are down, way down. And part of that is that STEMI money. Weed sales went through the roof when the stimulus money was in the economy. With the STEMI money, people had time with enhanced unemployment, with direct payments, they had money and everything was shut down. So they were sitting at home getting high. So weed sales exploded during the pandemic. Now we're in the real economy. We have left the stimulus economy and now we have moved to the real economy. The real economy. And that's why strip clubs money is down because people simply don't have it. They just don't have the money. And this is one of the things that I am noticing is weed sales are down. Strip club money's down, but murder is up. Petty crime is up. Domestic abuse is up. So we're seeing that people are shifting away from the stimulus economy. And some people are violently shifting away from the stimulus economy. Um, it's really, really bad. And I'm starting to see, I saw this story on next door where if someone puts a black zip tie on your car door, you're, they're typically marking, marketing you to be a victim of sex trafficking. And I read into that and that's actually kind of like not true, but there was some, this video and it's like, it was this black tie on this car and I'm just sitting there like, that's just false. Cause essentially if someone is going to snatch someone up, they're going to snatch them up when the opportunity is there. They're not going to mark the car and have someone, they don't work in like, well, some, you know what? I really don't know. I really don't know how they work, but typically sex trafficking, drug use, crime, crime is up, up pointing fingers, like in a TikTok, like they're always that to me, that's one of the stupidest things. It's like, just point your finger, the TikTok point your finger gesture. You, they look so stupid doing that. But one of the things that I see happening now, here's something else. Cause I predicted this. Now I did say the stock market was going to rally before the big crash. I did say that in the video and you know, cryptocurrency kind of rallied, then it crashed again. I said that was going to happen. And what you're going to see with the stock market, once the fed starts the stimulus, the pulling, cause the, the, the fed has an operation where they're pulling money out of the economy. And once that gets trucking, the stock market is going to have a big crash. I recently had a consulting call with someone and I said, don't put any money in the stock market at the moment because you know, wait till next year because there's going to be a big crash and you'll be able to enter the stock market when it's cheaper. So don't, don't put any money in the stock market. This, this is investment advice. Do not put money in the stock market for the rest of the year. And you will, Thank me for that later because there is a huge crash coming because when the Fed starts messing with the money supply and they start pulling money out, because why did the stock market rally? Because the Fed was pumping money into the economy. So it's not that hard to figure out that if the stock market goes up because the Fed was putting money in the economy, it's not hard to figure out that the Fed start, and we're talking about, they're going to be taking out billions. They're going to be taking out billions of dollars out of the, the economy and they're going to be raising the interest rates and the basis points. I predict there's going to be at least three to four more raise of interest rates. So we got that going on. So what we're seeing is the reality of the economy, the reality of the economy. Once again, we have left the stimulus economy has left the room. 
and now we're seeing the raw naked economy. And another thing that you're seeing, you know, because for me, you know, I was going to do a video. I'm probably going to do it. I'm not a big uh, consumer of strip clubs. For me, I think it's stupid. Once again, I know I've just insulted a lot of people. I pissed off a lot of people. I think it is stupid to go to a club, throw money at a random chick to have her grind on you and tease you and you don't get to smash. I think that is absolutely stupid. When if, if you were a real man and you had a little game, not even a pocket full of game, just a little game, like a little fingertip of game, right? Just a little game. You could go out, find a woman, buy her some high heels and have her dance for you and get the smash. I'm serious, I've done it several times. A lot of women get very turned on by doing that stuff. But once again, because you have no game, this is why you go to the strip club. And I, I saw this video, which I thought was extremely funny. It was on O'Shea Dukes Jackson's channel. This guy spent $5,000 on this chick, flew her in, flew her in, and he ain't getting none. I'm just sitting there like, I have a saying, the more that you have to spend, the more that she doesn't like you. Like these girls who are being sugar babies, they're charging certain men for sex, right? And certain men are getting it for free. Same chick, but different treatment depending upon her attraction level to you. I find it hilarious. I find it hilarious. Now, once again, the strip money's down. I, I think that's a good thing because people need to be doing constructive stuff with their money and their time versus being in the shake of booty club. And weed sales are down, which is cool. It means less people are getting high. But once again, we are at the tip of the destruction that's coming because I predict September when the Fed starts their money extraction scheme, September, October, November, the real tale is Christmas numbers. We're going to see how, like last year, I was on it. Last year was the worst Christmas on record in decades. And if this year's Christmas is worse, we're in the real economy. We're dealing with real money. We're dealing with the real situation. We're dealing with the reality of being broke. Like I said, the average person doesn't make a lot of money. The average person is in a lot of debt. The average person doesn't manage money correctly. If you're one of those average people, that's your reality. And that's why I find it very funny, these videos that are talking about, oh, do this to protect your money in the recession. And people don't have no money. They don't have no money. They have no money. And I find it hilarious because we're in a situation where we're dealing with the real economy, the real fundamentals of money. Now, what I am looking forward to because uh, this is what I'm going to be doing my paper trading. I expect the stock stock market to be extremely volatile. Now, if you're a buy and hold investor, that's going to be a rough ride. Pretty much if you hold it for 10, 15 years, you should be okay. Now, if you're a trader and you're doing options trading and you're doing swing trading, this is going to be like Christmas time for those guys. There is nothing more than a trader learn loves in a, a market full of volatility because the market is consistently moving. And if you're doing your chart analysis and you're really on it, you can make a lot of money, even though the market sucks for the average investor. So I think it's about to be Christmas time for the traders. It's about to be New Year's Eve for the traders, because I think there's going to be a lot of money to be made from trading this season that's coming up because the reality is that so many people get into trading because they're broke. 
And I feel that there's a certain group of people who do really well, and there's a certain group of people who don't do well. And I have a feeling that it's the people who are extremely desperate and don't have discipline are the ones who don't do well. And the ones who have discipline and are not extremely desperate, they're not trying to buy the Lambo by Christmas. I have a feeling that those folks do much, much better. But in time, we will tell. But yeah, strip club money is down. Weed sales are down. But all this other stuff is up. Murder rate is skyrocketing. Suicide rate is up. Domestic violence is up. So this is just kind of part and parcel with the way that I see the economy is going. Because like I said, we're not at the, the really bad part yet. I know that people thought that increasing, there are increases in food prices, and increases of gas. Now, that was just a warm up for what's to come. That was just a warm up. That was just a little bitty blip in the society of what's gonna come. Now, also, during this period where the stock market, and I, I remember someone put up, uh, the stock market hadn't been down. Like, once again, I am a nerd. I do my research. Don't come to this channel. The stock, this, the stock market's had the worst six months in decades this year, the worst six months. So once again, you have a lot of people who have, who live in echo chambers, who don't uh, get into um, the reality of real analysis and real data. They get into whisper rooms and rumors and stuff. Not here, we get into the facts. And the facts are that strip club money's down Weed sales are down. I'm, I'm in, like I said, normally vices go up during bad times, but this is really, really interesting what is happening now. And once again, I'm going to make a prediction. You know, it is August, so we're four months and two weeks away from Christmas, or four months and a week away from Christmas. I have a feeling that this is going to be the worst Christmas on record in terms of sales because i'm seeing it i'm seeing it like with me selling these cars people don't have any money like i have people who this guy wanted to go to credit union to get money to buy a five thousand dollar car and there was something else and once again employers who have a bunch of lowly paid workers are having a nightmare staffing they're having a night, nightmare staffing because literally I am a big user of DoorDash and I am consistently seeing, I'll try to find one of my favorite joints and it's closed in the middle of the day. And it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday and it's closed. You wanna know why it's closed? Cause they don't have staff. So with you know the video, the young mindset, you have all of these people who are trying to figure out ways to make money without working. And that's a huge, huge thing that's going on right now. It's huge. And I'm just sitting here and once again, I'll be straight up. Why, like, there's a girl, I'm gonna actually give you her name. Her name is Kelly OG. Just put that in the YouTube search thing. The girl's been trading 15 months, 15 months. And she's created a portal a trading group where she's making a hundred K a month from her trading group. And she's, she, I don't even think she's 20. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm, I'm pointing like TikTok. I'm doing the, 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 I'm just sitting there like that didn't escape my attention. I'm sitting there like, you know what? If you go ahead and let me lay out the plan, I'm going to create a professional trading company and I'm going to do it from a professional level because if this and she's smart uh, she's very intelligent she's figured out a lot of stuff but if this girl who ain't even 20 years old who in her intro she's like I was 18 and I was broke and I started trading in 19 I became a millionaire very inspirational inspiring story 
right? And I've noticed on the YouTube trading community, there's actually two trading communities on YouTube. There is the professional trading, there, there's, there's a, some professional trading channels that have like 200, 300,000 subscribers, and these are companies. So there's a group of professional traders who are putting out professional advice, professional content, and they're doing really, really well. And then there's the, I want to have a Lambo by Christmas crowd that those channels do well, but I feel based upon my research that I'm going to appeal to the people who want to professionally trade. And this is going to be your doctors, your attorneys, your people who already make a lot of money and they want to make more money because they want their money to be working for them. So that's who I feel that I'm going to draw because I'm not going to um, put up a lot of clickbait titles or a bunch of stuff. Because like I said, um, I just got an email from Cobra Trading. Looks like my account is, uh, I'll see one in a minute, but looks like my account is open and I'm going to start paper trading, which means that I am going to buy my trading computer. And I got to do some research on that because uh, I'm just looking at um, what I got to buy. I know I got, and you know, Apple, I'm an Apple head. I may go ahead and drop the money to do an Apple computer. Because once again, I can claim it as a tax deduction on from another company. I can just claim it as a tax deduction for Savage Consulting and write that stuff off legitimately. So I don't have to wait until I actually start trading. I don't have to wait until January, but I'm going to do paper trading and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to talk about, I'm a novice trader. I'm that's going to be, cause that's what, that's what I'm at. I don't, I don't really know nothing about trading. I am not going to bullshit you or make some stuff up. And that's the luxury of having money. I don't have to lie to you guys to get money. I don't have to lie to you to, and like again, the intellectual property school. I've been telling people, you're looking at a three year journey. That's how I sold it. I did not sell it that you're gonna be, oh, in 30 days, you're gonna be able to turn in your two weeks notice to your, I didn't sell it like that, cause that's bullshit. That's complete and utter bullshit. But once again, I have seen, cause you know, I was a little worried, but you know, like you tell people it's gonna be three years before they realize something, a lot of people are gonna tune out. But to my surprise, a lot of people have bought in. A lot of people, because I think that people are sick and tired of being lied to and having these false promises. Because I can tell you, you can start a YouTube channel today, and in three years, you could be making five, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars a month the way that I'm gonna teach you. That's real. That's something you can really do. That's something the average person can do if they just, if the person can follow directions and execute on those directions. So I already know that how I'm going to sell this because I'm not going to sell it. And if I have an ounce of success, just an ounce, I don't need to have like killer success, just an ounce of success as per Kelly OG, Kelly OG. Um, She's, uh, I watch her channel because this is one of the things that I have learned. Really watch, because essentially with the corporate trader, I have started subscribing to trading channels and I'm listening to everybody. And, you know, I probably spend two hours a day listening to trading content and I'm learning a lot of stuff. Like um, my play, what I put in the video talking about uh, buying Apple at 171 and it goes up to 180. I didn't know that was swing trading, but that's what that is. I didn't know. So my instincts are really good because I don't know the terminology. I don't know all of the, the stuff like, you know, sizing down. I don't really know what that means yet. So I'm going to be in school, be in school, trading school, learning how to trade, how to, and this is one of the reasons that I need my demo account because 
moved my demo account and the guy warned me, he said it will be not exactly what you will be doing in a live trading environment. It'll be close, but it'll be a little bit off. He did warn me about that. So, and also uh, I've seen people, it's like you need to paper trade for uh, a year and four months. And actually, once again, cause I'm watching trading content, that's actually harmful. You need to trade paper trade as long as you can to get the fundamentals to know what you're doing. And then you need to start because once again, paper trading is different than live trading. So the longer you put off live trading, because you can paper trade for two years and in paper trading, you can be like winning every day. And then you switch it to live trading and you can start losing left and right because they're different. So I'm not going to paper trade for a year because I don't need to. You want to know why? I've been watching. There's been a lot of people who have been legitimately successful because there is so much information out here. There's so much um, knowledge. And what I feel going forward, that trading will get easier because I have found numerous individuals who've had financial success trading, legitimate financial success, and they have Instagram accounts, but their Instagram accounts are not dripping with Lambos or, or, or the, the iced out watch. It, it's with their friends and family in the nice house. So, but these guys are legitimate traders and they're making a lot of money. And with the knowledge that's coming to the market with the innovations and technology, trading is going to get easier. It's going to be way easier than it is today. So that's something I'm looking forward to, but yeah, man. And I'm going to mention the name street money 21. Yeah, man. I don't know if you remember this dude. I don't even think he's on YouTube anymore. This is really interesting because this was one of the first stock market guys on YouTube. Street Money 21. He was a brother. He was a California brother. He was doing really well. You know, he had a nice house. He had the big boy Benz. He was making money. And he was like, yeah, man. You know, it's really interesting how YouTube keeps changing in the seasons of YouTube. But yeah, we're getting ready to get her done. Get her done. So uh, I'm going to be check this email and see if my trading account is open. And this will be the first one that's open. I've sent, I've sent an application to TD Ameritrade. I've received an email. I emailed them some, I don't know if I have to fax it. I sent something to Swab. I haven't heard anything from them. And I've sent something to uh, Cobra Trading. And then I'm gonna check out E-Trade. Cause essentially I'm going to continue to open up brokerage accounts because I don't know if what I'm opening up is going to do what I need to do. But once again, until you actually do it, you'll never know. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really, really interesting. But yeah, man, strip club money is down. Weed sales are down. People are broke. And the economy is reflecting that fact. It's reflecting that fact in spades.